The living bearing their dead. Protesting against yet another attack, more destruction. This protest used to send a message to the government and security forces that this minority community wants protection, peace. But why we are targeted? What our fault is? Do we know? Do can anyone answer our our question that what our fault is? Why we are targeted? Every day it is about three days that we are here for protest. No one is hearing our voice. They're Shiites, targets of sectarian attacks. The latest bombing on Saturday is so devastating that some of the dead are yet to be identified. Police say a suicide bomber rammed a water tanker laden with explosives into a crowded marketplace. The Sunni militant group lashkar e jangvi has claimed responsibility for the attack. They believe Shiites aren't true Muslims and vajabul qatl, worthy of death. These protesters braved freezing temperatures for three days, going against Muslim tradition to bury their dead as soon as possible, a sign of their desperation. And this isn't for the first time. More than a month ago, protesters brought their dead with them and blocked a main road after at least 80 people were killed in a similar bombing in Quetta. Until we get justice and blood for blood, we will continue to protest. These people have killed our young men, sisters and children. Is the blood of our victims not important? The government says it's going after those responsible. Prime Minister Raja Pervez Ashraf recently ordered what authorities are calling a targeted operation in Quetta. And the Home Secretary says so far 170 people have been arrested. But it's not clear whether any of them are from the group that claimed responsibility for these attacks. Human rights activists are urging the government to be resolute in its efforts, with Human Rights Watch noting that 2012 was the most deadly year for Shiites in Pakistan. Sunni extremist militant groups, specifically the lashkar e jhangvi and the Sipai Sahaba Pakistan, are targeting ordinary Shias going about their daily lives. And what we saw in uh, 2012 was that something like close to 500 uh, Shias, certainly well over 400 Shias, were killed in various uh, targeted killings and in suicide bombings. Now, well into a new year, more attacks, more deaths, and perhaps even less hope. Simon Mawson, CNN.